It was a glorious afternoon, and after watching the light during the day get better and better, I decided to head out to one place I knew would look great in these conditions, Kilcray Friary. Surrounded by a flourishing crop, I knew that this would be absolutely stunning. So let's go and discover this area as I give this one take photography vlog a go. Uh, I'm out today to take some photographs and I decided I want to do something completely different. I haven't done it before but I have been inspired by a couple of people on YouTube in recent times. And those people are uh, Mr. Thomas Heaton and Mr. Greg Snell, who have come up with a concept which I find is really, really interesting, which is one take photography. So I'm going to try and do a photo here of the scene that you see behind me, which is a friary, which is Kilcray Friary. And I'm in the middle of a field here, as you can see, um, so it's full crop. So I'm going to get set up here for a photograph, trying to capture the abbey, or the friary, it's in the background there. I have some nice clouds as well, and I am getting some nice light now as well that's on the friary as well itself. So we'll give this one uh, take photography uh, a go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you up here on my other tripod. And uh, the idea that I want to try and do here is set up the shot. So I'm going to be looking down one of the lines that the tractor would make when the farmer is actually going through the, tree, uh, through the field. And I've come here before on a couple of occasions uh, taking some photographs and it's always an interesting place to come because you will always get a photograph. So I've put you on um, my main tripod actually over there because I'm going to have to use my vlogging tripod today for some simple reason being looking at the crop it's quite high and that tripod itself isn't very high so I'm going to have to use the centre column on this one because I've got it taken out of my main tripod. So. I'm going to get this set up anyway here and um, while I'm getting it set up I'm going to talk you through I suppose a couple of things that I would look out for when I'm taking this shot as well itself. So one as I've mentioned there is something to lead your eye in so a leading line or even a foreground interest as well itself and I'm going to position the camera um, right here which is this as I said the tractor lines that are going to lead down to the friary as well itself. I'm going to take the centre column and I'm going to bring it up as high as it can go so I'm not getting very, very high, but I am going to get some bit of height in the actual frame as well itself. And I'll grab my camera. So I have my Hanel Capture Pro on this evening. And what I'm going to do with that is it's going to allow me to be able to take a photograph without even touching the camera as well itself. So I'm going to um, just very quickly now set this up here. I'm going to put it on live view so that I can compose the photograph. I'm going to slightly compose making sure that everything is correct. I'm going to have my histogram and I'm looking at my histogram just to make sure that nothing is blown and that the shadows themselves aren't too dark. And then I'm also going to uh, put on my level to make sure that the camera as well as uh, itself is level. So I'm on, uh, my stabilizer is off. Okay, I'm at 35 mil. So I'm using my Canon 16 to 35 and I'm at 35 mil in regards to that because even looking at it here, if I have a quick look, it's too wide, so the abbey as well itself is going to be lost within the scene. So I'm going to frame the shot here at 35 mil. There is a bit of a, an angle within the field as well itself, so it will look, make the image look as if it's slanted, but I'm making sure that my camera is level, like I said, using the inbuilt leveler, and also then as well, the main column in the middle of this uh, abbey as well itself is going to be straight. So setting that up there now, I'm going to move it to uh, f16 and the reason I want to go f16 is because I have some nice light that's behind me but I really want to get as much depth of field in the image as well itself so f16 will do that for me and now what I'm going to do on manual focus is I'm going to zoom in to 10 times zoom and then that allows me to be able to fine-tune my focus to make sure that I get everything spot on so that's spot on right there and taking that back out now I'm taking the shot at f16 and to be able to get a properly exposed shot I'm shooting it at a 30th of a second so I'm going to use my wireless remote right now so with this here all I have to do is basically I'll show you actually here so 
this is my wireless remote. So with that, all I have to do here is effectively take and press this button. And now photograph will be taken here on the camera as well itself. And now to review, what I always generally do is I'll zoom right in to make sure that everything itself is in focus. And then I'll also look at the foreground and the foreground does seem to be in focus. I might need to change, I'll just give it a quick change here to go for a faster shutter speed so that any way or any wind movement in the crop as well doesn't show up with that in the image itself. So I'm going to change that now to 1 60th of a second. It is looking like it's underexposed, but I'll take this shot anyway here again. So using this, and now that's taken the photograph here. And I think that's a much better exposed photograph looking at the image as well itself and zooming in and having a look at the crop in front. Uh, it does seem quite sharp, but just to be on the safe side, what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to take a second shot for an area that I do think isn't as sharp as it should be. So I'm going to make sure that's fully in focus and then I'll take that shot and then I can potentially blend those two images as well then later. So I'll take this shot here now. And that's pretty much it. Um, I don't need to have any filters either because I'm shooting with the sun. I would normally use my uh, leaf filter and my leaf filter holder here. I'd put that on and I would, if the sky was a bit too bright, I'd put on a 0.6 or a 0.9 ND grad um, just to be able to make sure that nothing is, over, is overblown in the sky as well itself. But everything seems to be fine. So it's actually, you know, a, interesting way to be able to take a shot to be able to just rock up itself itself and moreover as well ordinarily i'd have the camera off the tripod and i'd make sure that i'd move around and get different compositions but i've already done that so i found where i wanted to be before i started to record as well itself but yeah uh one take one shot and um yeah thanks to thomas eaton and greg snell for the inspiration in regards to this something simple I think really but I didn't move around really as much as the guys because I didn't have Greg to be able to follow me around maybe next time Greg you can help me out and you can do the same with me and follow me around as I take uh, a photograph as well itself so hope you enjoyed the short episode of my vlog thank you very much for tuning in as always if you enjoy the content please do leave a comment below and if you're not subscribed already I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that you get notified anytime that I release a new episode so from Kilcray Friary, thanks very much for watching this and until the next time, Schlange Fall.